Hi everybody and thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. Well, you know, as we jump into our first official show of the spring, it just so happens that this weekend is opening weekend for turkey season in the state of Delaware. And you know, you can do all the scouting from the ground that you want, but when you want to get a real perspective of how things are shaping up, well, there's no better perspective than from Chopper 16. So we send it up to my partner, Captain Willie Dykes, who is flying high above Delmarva. And Willie, keeping an eye on those fields for us, huh? Hi there, Mike. Those Delaware turkey hunters can rest assured that there are birds to work with in this spring season. Just about every day, we're seeing jakes and gobblers strutting their stuff. It really doesn't matter where you look. Both Kent and Sussex counties are sporting some impressive turkey populations. Right off the bat, we spotted a pair of birds grazing over a freshly plowed field. From their short beards and apparent lack of nearby hens, it looks like these young fellows are having more luck feeding than breeding. But as you can tell, they tend to get a little jump in their step when they hear Chopper 16, so we try not to stick around too long. Not far away, a nice grouping of hens has a field all to themselves. A few unimpressive jakes may try to mingle into the flock from time to time, but for the moment, it's a ladies' day out as they sift through the soil in search of something to chew on. But fear not, for those in search of a spring gobbler, the big boys are on the prowl. These mature males show us the magnificence of their puffed out breast feathers and fan tails. And even though these hens seem to turn their backs on this blatant advance, you can bet the tide will turn before the spring is out. Delaware's spring turkey season runs through May 7th, and Maryland season starts in just a couple of weeks from now. I'd say the prospects are looking pretty good for both. Michael, send it back to you. All right, Willie, thank you. Fly safely. We'll see you when you get back down here on the ground. Well, you know, while it is opening weekend for most turkey hunters in the state of Delaware, it's not really the season opener because youth hunters got a chance last week to get first crack at a gobbler. And we were there when some of the big beards started showing up at Delaware Turkey Check Stations. Right. Move to your right just a little bit. If you were only passing by the parking lot, you might have you wondered go. what all the excitement was about. But if you're a youth turkey hunter who just bagged a bearded bird, you know the Hook'em and Cook'em Bait and Tackle Shop in South Bethany is one of several Delaware Turkey check-in stations. We were about to give up and then he just they started gobbling. For brother and sister, Spencer and Peyton Murray, it was one of the closest check-ins from their home in Georgetown and their hunting spot near Roxana, Sussex County. It was about 15 yard shot. He was in a bunch of briars and stuff and so I wanted to get a good shot. So I waited, and then when he came out, I took the shot, and he crumpled up a little bit, and then he started running. And so I got up and started chasing. I was really excited, and then once we heard him, I got really excited. And then I just shot it in the neck, and it fell down. <laughs> you do good, guys? Oh, yeah. One inch on the left. At the check-in station, there's a few pieces of business to take care of, beginning with a few measurements. Uh oh, she's got a longer beard. 11 inch. We measure the beards, we measure the spurs, we tag them with a leg tag right here with a pair of crimpers. You put the leg tag around the leg and crimp them. Just crimp it shut, that way they know that they're registered. That information, along with weight and a breast feather, heads to Denra, where each piece of information provides wildlife officials with valuable insight into a turkey population that's grown from meager to thriving in just a few decades. Now normally we keep our viewer pictures until the end of this show, but Youth Day is something special. So we had to share these opening day success stories with you too. 10-year-old RJ Gooner from Milton checked in this 16 and a half pound Jake at the Rattle and Reel in Long Neck. With his dad Randy calling them into the decoys, young RJ sealed this bird's fate along with a Youth Day memory that'll last forever. And we say congratulations to another 10-year-old, Ben Willie from Millsboro, who harvested this 19-pound, 10-ounce Jake at about 6.20 Saturday morning near Georgetown and also checked him in at the Rattle and Reel. Just seeing him for the first time, getting involved in the outdoors, and it's like Peyton's first time turkey hunting, and it's probably the best, <laughs> best hunting you can right. do. I'd, I'd rather see them do it. I mean, I've been there and done it, but it's, um, it's just like seeing them get involved in the outdoors. Get outdoors, Delmarva. Well, we say congratulations to all the successful turkey hunters out there. And if you have any videos or pictures of your adventures, 
make sure to send them our way. You can email me at mparker at wboc.com.